That first, that first knockdown uh, in the sixth round, he looked deflated there. So you didn't really read that as uh, that was the turning point? Uh, no, because I, I, didn't, I didn't really think he was that ready. Uh, because he still was moving around, I, you know. You know, he he did try, he tried, he did try, and uh, but I, I I just I just felt as though that wasn't that wasn't the right time to do so. It was a lot of times that it was another time that I was getting off, and and and, and that he was he was non-responsive, and I thought they was gonna stop it then. But but he the way he was using his body was wasn't really like he was standing up straight or he didn't have his side to side. He was leaning all the way over, so it was kind of like it was kind of like I had to go around. To make sure I hit the target instead of getting a foul and hitting him in the back of the head, you know, getting disqualified. And, and plus, I didn't want to intentionally hit him in the back of the head. I got good sportsmanship. And one thing I do credit Arthur for is his sportsmanship, you know, the way he conducted himself. It's, he's, I mean, he's not like what everybody would say he would be, you know, uh, you know this hot head. Look, I mean, he, he conducted himself as a man, and I respect him for that. And he didn't get out of line. Everything was fine. He came to congratulate me after the fight. I mean, that was a good fight. First things first, Brian. I mean, you just sparked a fire. You and Spiel sparked the fire in the heavyweight division. No. Where, I mean, as we know, in the United States, the heavyweight division has been dead for a good minute. No. You just brought it back to fire. I mean, look at this arena, man. I mean, right now you got... Mike Garcia fighting, uh, much respect, but you don't got the emotions, that emotion, that fire that was going on, that 10 rounds you guys did. You know, we spoke before and I said, you know, maybe I might have gave it to 6 or 5, you know, 6 or 4, but then looking at the scorecard and everything like that, you know, you was on top of it. You, yeah. brought, it up, you brought the whole game. What are the pluses and minuses that you pull out of this fight? Uh, uh, I mean, my plus is the simple fact that, you know, I stayed, I stayed in there. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't show signs of, you know, you know, breaking down or whatever. Yo, know, I kind of try to let him get into the fight as well so there could be a fight. Um, because I, I didn't want to really be the only one working. And I didn't want to overwork myself being so I really wasn't catching him as clean as I wanted to. So I didn't want to really waste too many punches. And... Everything got a little crazy, but I mean, but I mean, we, I mean, we, 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 I pulled it off, and and I did what I was supposed to do. What's next for Brian Jennings? Uh, it don't, I don't even know. It don't even matter. Uh, I know for sure I'll be right back in the gym, yo, know, whether, whether this Monday or next Monday. The uh, hardest, just, just, just to show that, yo, know, I still have some work to do. Uh, I still got some, you know, some touching up to do. Uh, you know, tonight, I mean, tonight was the debut, and you know, I mean, if anybody want to call it ring rust or whatever. They want to call it whatever they want. I did what I was supposed to do. I handled my business and I handled it well. Well, you just hit it right on the spot because it was a little ring rust because you haven't been in a ring for what? How long? Yeah, seven months. Damn, seven though. Months. I mean, you can honestly say that it could have been a problem situation between promoters, the owner, you know, I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, whatever. I mean, and now you're in a new, you're in a new place right now. Yeah, you yeah, with yeah. Gary Shaw, you with, you know, Jay Prince. I mean, now you're at a level where I know that yesterday at the win, Captain Hitchbro walked up to you and said, when is the next fight? What did he say to you? What? Uh, the, cat, the cat from HBO, he walked up to you and oh, said, yo, there's a fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah he I, said I, to I you, yo, there's a date for you opening everything. February, yeah, That's yeah, right, I dog. Said, so. I, said, I said, yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, So, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to go back in and, uh, you know, Styles make fights. And this 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 fight was uh, proof that, you know, Styles does make fights. And it wasn't hard for me, but it just was very, it, it was awkward. That's a different, that's, that's a different, those two different words. But, uh. I did what I was supposed to do when I mastered it, and I did it well. I just want to ask the last question to Jenkins, you know, your trainer. What did you take out tonight from this fight? I mean, you know, no bias. Be you know, on the real no bias, you got you to understand Brian Jennings is an active person. He was out of the gym for seven months, and, and he came in and pulled off an upset over over a uh, top-notch heavyweight like that, which was undefeated, and he was a southpaw that nobody likes to fight. And, and two, uh, Brian Jennings, well, yeah, uh, uh, nine rounds message, to figure that him that I'm, that I'm out. Here. But imagine if he was a 12 round, 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 round 10, 11, and 12, and it would have been, been, been the same thing. So, so you got to give Brian Jennings a chance to hear that. Uh, to the situation that, that was an awkward there. situation uh, because the guy so wouldn't let Brian Jennings hit him uh, because the rap guy so wrapped him up those, through the whole fight. Every time Brian Jennings hit him, he grabbed him and hold him, and the referee let him get away with holding him. And he was pressing me for putting grease on Brian Jennings' face. He was letting the other guy hold and telling me I couldn't grease my man down. But I can say that a couple of good years that I've been following Brian Jennings, that he's been one of the activist heavyweight fighters. Like you said, it's been seven months, situation between 
promoters, you know, whatever was going on. But now he's in the good hands. He's with Gary Show Promotions. He got a good manager, Jay Prince. He got always you in the corner. And, you know, HBO's knocking on the door, and they want you guys ASAP for the next fight. Let's put it like this. Uh, Showtime has Floyd Mel Mayweather. Now HBO has Brian James, the next heavyweight champion of the world. Playing out the that's it, man. Those last words, and that's it, homie. Good looking out, man. Thank you. Always pleasure.